Hello everybody, we're back again. I've got to have a, a little bit of a, an install for Dirt 2 here. So in some of my streams before, you may have seen me using a telemetry tool. Uh, this telemetry tool was first for Dirt Rally. Um, as far as I'm aware, it hasn't been updated to work with Dirt 2. However, it's not that difficult to get working now. But a couple of people ping me a message and ask, how did you get it working? What did you do? Blah, blah, blah. So this is it. It is fairly straightforward. But remember, this is configured for my setup. So this is for my quad monitor setup. Um, to get it working on a single monitor, it is possible. There's a few extra steps. Unfortunately, those steps, I can only point you in the right direction. Um, it's not something I've tried or something I'm about to try either because I just don't need to. Um, but all the data will be available here where you can go off and look into that yourself. Anyway, first off, tool. There it is in front of you. It's a nice, simple tool. You know, gives you your suspension, your diffs, your steering input, your throttle accelerator, brake, clutch, blah, get all the terms right, whatever, G-forces, you name it, it's there. Anyhow, what you need to do to download, we need to head over first to uh, racedepartment.com. So that'll be here. Um, search for the tool itself, which is Dirt Telemetry Tool. Um, so you need to log in or sign up to this to be able to download. Click on the download, get a zip file, then you basically unpack that zip file. So when you've done that, let's get rid of that. You end up with your files as you see here. So if we close that down, literally to run it, double click, running it, that's it. That's basically all you need to do before you load the game. However, there is a bit of configuration. So what you need to do first off, is go to your my documents my games dirt rally in this case dirt rally 2 and then we need to go to the hardware settings and the hardware underscore settings underscore config dot xml uh, let me drag over for some info so as you see here as it says in the instructions we're doing exactly the same as what we did for dirt one shall we say but note the ports here may be different to what you're using already. That's if you're running anything like um, a panel here. So I've got two displays here that I run with Dirt Rally and most other games, to be honest. So there's a little bit of a cheat you can do using the likes of Sim Dashboard or Sim Hub. You can actually now forward this data on. So what you do, leave this as it is. I use Sim Dashboard because it's nice and easy. Go to Forward UDP Telemetry Data. And in here, what we're doing is adding the address ports here. So the data that comes in that the game already receives or sends out is sent, obviously, to this. This then forwards that data onto the address that it's asking for. Yeah. So rather than copying and pasting this in and changing the data in that config file, you can do this. Now, <coughs> bearing in mind, if you're not using things like screens, <coughs> excuse me, and you're not forwarding the data for any other reason, then you can go in here, edit as it says here, and you'll be able to use that data straight to the little app itself but in my case because i'm forwarding to these screens already so if, again if i go to where are we games where is it dirt rally 2 you can see here it's already been forwarding to this particular port and you see here ports here completely different on the ip see you need to make sure that you forward the ip and the port or to that port, sorry. So you, you've got to forward from here to this. So once you've got that put in, you will have the telemetry data being forwarded to whatever displays you're using. So whether you're using a tablet, a phone like I am, whether you're using any other third-party display software, you can have this then running on your window. So... Once that's done, close that down, close that down. No, no, actually keep that. There's another little thing. 
because I'm using a fourth screen, and I, I'll try and show you now. So on my setup, if I move the camera up, there's a screen up above. What I normally do, if you've got four screens like me, put that on the bottom bar at the top. The game then will fill down the bottom. If you're not, I would suggest you look at the borderless gaming option. So again, click on the README here, scroll in, and you'll have this section here for borderless gaming. And you can use this tool, supposedly, to have this app overlaid on top of the game itself. Now, this is something I've not tried, but I have done a bit of reading, and supposedly this does work and does the job very well. So certainly try it. Um, but moving back, just to show you, if I then go into Dirt Rally, <coughs> excuse me, and we'll load the game. And let's uh, tell you what we'll do. Free play. There. Um, yeah. We're going to jump in. So keep an eye on the screen above. We'll just go straight in. See straight away. Four, three, two, one, go. Fifty. Two I, right long. I forgot to turn my head to so I can't be going to stand, but you can. Into two right long. This is going to be really terrible. Camber. Forty. Five right. But into four as you can see from the data there, Titans of a bridge. See, it's all coming through now. I don't know how accurate this is. I don't know whether it needs to be tailored better to work with Dirt 2, but it seems to be working fine. So, if any of you, you know, want to give this a go, you've got four screens, then this is an easy route I found to do it. If you've only got the one screen and you still want to try, then I would suggest trying, trying that borderless screen option. Um, I know I need to configure something here. Games. Yeah, put it on that. And again, even in full screen mode, you don't have to run any particular mode when you're doing four screens. So if I can continue. And I'm in neutral air because I took it out when I was messing around. There we are. See, you can see the gears changing. Crest. So the suspension bars moving. Into four right. Opens of a crest. I was doing any sort of speed, you might even see the diffs coming into play. Anyway, that's it. It was just a nice, simple little know-how in terms of how to get that configured and working. Uh, hopefully you find it of use. If you've got any further questions, bung them in the comments below. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, if you think it's useful, if you think it's a good idea, give it a thumbs up. And uh, as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.